And now for today's Bible question. Today we have been learning about Jesus as the coming one, the promised Messiah of Israel, and we saw the validation of this through the many miracles he performed, including raising people from the dead and preaching the gospel to the poor. The prophets had written about his ministry, and no mere man could have fulfilled these prophecies and demonstrated the mighty power of God if he were not sent from God. We also learned that a person who is forgiven much loves much. Someone might ask the question, how can I know for sure my sins have been forgiven by God? Some people have a hard time accepting the idea that God can wash away all of their sins and completely forgive them. They still feel the guilt of their sins and are not convinced that God is able to forgive them because they do not feel very righteous or holy. The problem that people have is their lack of faith in what God has said in His Word. God has revealed to us the way to have our sins forgiven. If we read carefully what God has said, we shall learn that not only is God able to forgive sins, but He is also very willing to do so. When God sent Jesus into the world, His main purpose was that Jesus would die on the cross and bear away the sin of the world. You might think that Jesus can forgive all your past sins, but when you sin again in the future, you will have to face all of God's judgment for your sins. What we need to understand from God's Word is that God is so satisfied with the work of Jesus on the cross to pay for our sins that He can indeed pardon all of our sins, past, present, and future. Let's see what the Bible says about this. In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7. Therefore there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Romans chapter 8 verse 1. And he himself is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the whole world. 1 John chapter 2, verse 2 Most assuredly I say to you, He who hears my word and believes in him who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment, but has passed from death into life. John chapter 5, verse 24 These verses help us to understand that when God forgives our sins, it is a full and final judgment. All our sins are gone, forever buried and never to be brought up against us again. It is important that we understand this, or we can spend our entire lives worrying about whether our sins are truly gone, or if we will have to be judged for them. Remember that you cannot pay for your sins, and no matter how much you try to be a good person and do the right thing, it will never satisfy God or pay for even one sin. The only payment that God accepts for sin is the blood of Jesus Christ. And the blood of Jesus Christ is sufficient to pay for all of our sins completely and forever. These verses and others are meant to help us understand this so that we can enjoy the forgiveness and the grace of God. The woman who anointed Jesus' feet while in Simon's house demonstrated her confidence that her sins were forgiven by how much she loved Jesus. If we really believe what God has said and that he is willing to completely cleanse us from all sin, then we, like this woman, will be filled with love and appreciation for Jesus. This will lead us to a life of service and worship that delights the heart of God. There is an illustration in the Old Testament that can help us understand how our sins are forgiven and gone forever. On the Day of Atonement, there were two goats brought to the tabernacle, and one was slaughtered as a sacrifice for the sins of the people. But the other one had the sins of the people symbolically placed on its head, and then was taken into the wilderness and let go. This is a picture of how God dealt with our sins at the cross. 
When Jesus died, he was like the slaughtered sacrifice upon which our judgment fell. The other goat, called the scapegoat, was taken to the wilderness with the sins of Israel upon it and let go. It was removed far away from the camp, never to return again. The scapegoat illustrates that the sins that Jesus bore for us have been taken away from us and shall never be brought back against us again. God's forgiveness is true and everlasting forgiveness. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Psalm 103 verse 12.